James, how are you? How fortunate is baby Ella to have such fine examples of leadership and commitment to our Lord and Savior. Ella, Margaret, Novak, Bean. I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. I sent half of them home early, so it's like 12 people. Besides, I'm working. I'm working on my eulogy for Pastor Drake, who I did not know you were handling. I'm handling Pastor Drake. Very sad. What? I shouldn't. What? Tell me. You cannot repeat this to anyone. I mean it. Are you in? I'm in. Tell me. He was... Kind of kinky. Oh. Pastor Drake, he died on top of a woman who was handcuffed to a bed in a hotel. Are you serious? She couldn't call for help because the sounds of her screams were muffled by his girth. Pastor Drake? The nation's pastor. (laughs) (laughs) Stop laughing. wrong he was a leader a civil rights icon <laughs> it's like hearing about your father's sex life that image is burned on my brain <laughs> how was this not fixed earlier you you have done this before right this is not your first time plugging in a microphone we did hire someone who knows how to do this job, right? Governor! That's Jason. He's almost done fixing the sound system. He just needs a minute. This is a town hall forum. You got people spread all around the room, and I cannot hear what they are saying! What's the point of a debate prep if I can't debate? Everyone, good work. But let's call it a night. Go home, get some sleep. We'll start here again at 7 a.m. Not you. Those people are working their butts off for you. Then we need better people. Or we need a better candidate. Screw you. I am getting killed in these debates. I lose votes in these debates. I need to be prepared. Which is what we were doing when you started yelling at people. I am yelling because no one is doing their job. Your job is to make sure I win. Good. I was worried you thought my job is to get felt up in elevators by my drunken candidate. I'm sorry about that. You know I'm sorry about Do you that. even want this? What? Do you even want to be president? Obviously. Is it obvious? I'm running. You're running? Like you're being chased. You're not running like you want to cross the finish line first. And so I'm asking you, do you want it? Or are you just wasting everyone's time and money and energy and faith and hopes and dreams? I want it. Why? Liv. Why do you want to be the president? Okay, Olivia. Why? I don't know what you want me to say. That's your problem. You're always trying to say what you think everyone wants to hear. Be what you think everyone wants you to be. And I should have caught it before. I would have if we weren't. I know you because you let me know you, but America has no idea who you are because you've never let them know who you are. Nobody can tell you how to do that. I can't fix that because I'm not running for president. Neither is Cyrus, neither is your father. So who are you and why do you want to be president? You can't wear this tie on morning TV. It's too distracting. Take it off. Hey, give me your tie, please. Give me your tie. Take it off. Off, 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 off. Thank you. You decide who you're voting for? I'm apolitical. You don't sleep. You rip ties off innocent bystanders for me. You're killing yourself 24-7 to get me elected, and I don't even have your vote. Oh, you're going to need to earn it, like any other candidate. You're supposed to be running the world. I'm writing my statement for tonight. By yourself? You do realize that there are many, many speechwriters in that big white building. 
If I'm going to announce to the American people that I'm not running for re-election, I think it should be my own words. Cyrus has been spending all day trying to talk me out of it. I was just with Cyrus. And? There may have been some lectures about me ruining the future of this great nation. Are you having second thoughts? No. You? Never. You maybe want to run your speech by me? Stop trying to help me. Just asking. I take it back. Goodbye. Wait. What? What are you wearing? <laughs> you are shameless. Goodbye. I'll put my ear to the ground, find out what I can about how the public is taking all this, how it's being messaged by the news anchors and pundits, and I'll get some intel on Melly and what her next move is going to be. And then Cyrus and I... No. Fitz. No. You don't do anything. This is my problem. I made a decision. And I'm going to deal with it. What? What? You have a look on your face. Because you are wrong. I am not wrong. I am very good at what I do. I am better at it than anybody else. That's not arrogance, that's fact. And I am definitely better at it than you and your boys at the White House. You need me if you're going to survive this. Maybe. But you are not fixing or handling me anymore, Libby. And if we are going to survive this, if you and I are going to make it together, you have to stand down. But... Stand down and wait for me to do this on my own. You are not in charge of everything. Fine.